the year was 62 AD, and the city of Rome pulsed with life. Beneath the marble arches and grand forums, however, shadows lingered, hiding plots as old as the empire itself. Caius Verus, once a proud centurion, was now a disgraced man. Betrayed during a failed military campaign in Britannia, he was stripped of his rank and exiled to the lowest corners of the empire. But his exile did not last. Summoned back to Rome by a mysterious letter, Caius found himself pulled into a conspiracy far more dangerous than the battlefield. The letter bore the imperial seal, yet no one in the palace would acknowledge its existence. A shadow emperor pulls the strings it had read, cryptically suggesting that Emperor Nero was not the true ruler of Rome. Someone hidden, unseen, dictated the emperor's whims and the empire's future. Caius had been called upon to uncover this secret, though he could not fathom why. Upon his return, he was met by Aelia, a brilliant yet elusive woman with ties to the Senate and whispered connections to Rome's darkest underworld. She claimed to be an agent of those loyal to Rome itself, not Nero. Together, they delved into the labyrinthine politics of the city, uncovering whispers of treason, betrayal, and an ancient cult that dated back to the time of Julius Caesar. As they ventured deeper, it became clear that Nero was nothing more than a puppet. The true ruler, the so-called Shadow Emperor controlled Rome's fate from behind the scenes, manipulating senators, generals, and even Nero himself. Every clue led them closer to the heart of the conspiracy and closer to danger. They discovered the cult's symbol, an ancient Roman coin with the profile of a faceless figure, hidden in secret chambers beneath the Colosseum. As Caius and Aelia unraveled the mystery, they found their every move shadowed by the Praetorian Guard, whose loyalty was suspected best. Their quest took them to the infamous Domus Aurea, Nero's opulent palace. In the depths of its golden halls, they discovered a secret chamber lined with scrolls chronicling the rise of this hidden power. There, in the dim light, they found the name of the Shadow Emperor, an immortal figure, a master of manipulation who had survived the rise and fall of emperors, his name erased from the annals of history. As they prepared to reveal the truth, Caius and Aelia were betrayed. The Praetorian Guard captured them, dragging them before Nero. But as the Emperor gazed upon them with madness in his eyes, it became clear he, too, was a prisoner. The true enemy was not a man, but an idea and eternal force that had controlled Rome since its founding. In a climactic struggle beneath the Colosseum, Caius faced the cult's leader, a man who claimed to be older than Rome itself, an immortal master of deception. Caius had been chosen not for his strength or intellect, but because he, too, was part of this ancient lineage, bound to Rome's destiny in ways he could never have imagined. With Aelia's help, Caius managed to destroy the cult's ancient relic, severing its control over the empire. But the victory was bittersweet. The city of Rome continued to spiral into chaos, with Nero's reign crumbling. Caius walked away from the city he had once sworn to protect knowing that while one shadow had been defeated, others would rise to take its place. Rome, after all, was an empire built on secrets, and the darkness that lingered in its streets could never truly be banished, 